Welcome back to the show, our fantastic fitness episode, and we are now joined in the studio by Jennifer Shaluhi, a health and wellness coach and a lovely person all around. Thank you. Good to meet you, Jennifer. Nice again. To meet you as well, yes. Again. I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, I've been long. It's great to see you. It's great to be here as well. Mm. Thank you. Fantastic. So tell us more about what you're doing nowadays. Oh my gosh, nowadays, mm. I was just <laughs> saying as well, it's a lot. So I'm a personal trainer, rebound instructor, breathwork coach, ice bath facilitator, and overall health and well wellness expert, mom of three, married 26 years. Yeah, this is it. Well, Jennifer, I just did a whole lot of surgeries oh. uh, on my nose and my throat because I had respiratory issues. So I feel like I'm new to breathing. What, can, what advice can you give me? Breathwork can change your life, number one. So the first thing you can do, you can begin the breathing through the nose or through the mouth, either one. And honestly, just take start with five deep breaths. That's it. And then when you do the deep breathing, so you don't want to do shallow breathing where the breathing stops here, go in deeper all the way down to the belly button. So it actually looks like, and take it in and feel your belly button expand. And then that's when the breath work happens and the magic happens. I want to know about this new trend because there's so many new trends happening these days of like footballers, athletes, taping their mouth shut at night so they can breathe through their nose. I heard about that as well. I what think do you think it's of just, it? I haven't tried it, so I don't have much experience about it to say it, but I assume that the way that they, the reason they're doing it is basically to help open up their nasal passageway to allow more ox oxygen to come through. I so. think it's just so because the wives don't want to hear them snore. <laughs> I think that's the real reason. What if they <laughs> through the nose? Oh gosh, yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> now, Jennifer, deep breathing. I mean, when you when you look it up online and in general, anyone will tell you how great it is to relieve stress, heal, uh, helps with anxiety and whatnot. Tell that to my six-year-old when she's having a fit. Mm -hmm. If I tell her to breathe yep. deep, she will throw a toy at me. But can you tell me a little bit about what is it about deep breathing that can sort of distract you or calm oh. your nerves? when you're having a panic attack. Mm -hmm. I have a very big passion about deep breathing, um, especially having experience through anxiety and stress. So when, when we're doing normal breathing, like we're sitting here all together, we're in a shallow state of breathing, and that's called your sympathetic nerves. But when you open up your parasympathetic nerves, that can only happen through the deep breathing. You release everything, negativity, and it's for everybody, and it's accessible. At any time, you don't have to go anywhere for it. And it just, it's, it's a feel good, free medicine right here with us right now. Yeah. And the deeper you breathe, the more you activate all those good vibes and the good feeling, and you literally re relieve all the stress and anxiety. It literally just relieves that off of the body immediately. And yeah. that's and that's the but that's something you definitely need when you're doing ice baths, right? You 100%. need to be able to breathe properly through that moment. And yeah, of pain, yeah, that's because it, it is pain. It yeah. is extreme pain. Ice baths seem to have become more popular nowadays. But the Jaffer, I understand that you've been doing ice baths since you were 15 years old, and you're surprised that it, you know, it's only become more popular quite recently. What made you do ice baths? I mean, you're an athlete, I know, but. Well, they, it had a lot of benefits to us as athletes. You're, you're running around a lot, you're using your joints a lot, you're, you have an inflamed, you know, muscles and joints and ligaments. So ice technically will actually help you with the inflammation. Now an ice bath was a set for us for, I mean, as for, I'm gonna speak for myself, it was something that I enjoyed doing. It's weird, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being in a very, very excruciatingly cold tub, and I felt great after getting out of it. You know, you, I had lifted, let's say, or we played a basketball game, or we worked out. I felt amazing. I said, I'm just gonna keep doing this. But the first time I got into it was when my coach forced us into getting into it. I lasted about 10 seconds and I cried like a five-year-old <laughs> child. I don't think there's anything you could say to make me do a cold plunge is there, is there what are the benefits not for someone who's like Java who's a pro athlete well from my experience the reason that we do these cold baths is because it's a it's an opportunity to put yourself in a deliberate stressor so and you have to sit with yourself in this present moment how are you going to overcome that fight or flight and get out or sit rest and digest it imagine putting yourself in that stressor if you can overcome that type of stressor, you can overcome any other stressors yeah. throughout your life. Yeah. And when you can have that experience, you can go out and conquer the world. And that's why I deliberately put myself in ice and, and over and over again. It's never easier the second time. I've been doing it for about five years, but it just, it's harder every time. But it gives you that moment to sit presently with yourself and deal with that stressor. I totally agree. It's more of a, you, you would automatically think it's a physical thing. You're like, it's, oh my gosh, my body's cold, what am I doing? But it's the mind. 
project mm -hmm. it's that's a mind thing it's so so deep yeah mm -hmm. how long did you when you first did it how long did you three last? minutes three I did minutes. I did the last three minutes because I began with the cryo chamber and that was that's easy you go in and it accumulates the cold gradually mm -hmm. then I moved to cold baths and then I saw ice baths I was like okay this looks really good there's so much to talk to you about, Jennifer, because you're into everything. Tell us about rebounding. Oh, rebounding. I discovered it in Lebanon in 2012 as I was driving and I saw a billboard. And I looked up and I'm like, oh, I'm a, I'm a fitness instructor. So I, I gravitate towards anything that's fitness and feel good ideas. When I saw the rebounding, I went onto the trampoline. I, I just had three babies, like one, not one after the other, but <laughs> I was a mom of three at the time and the youngest was about four years old. So I had weak pelvic floor muscles. So I thought, let me try this. Maybe this will help strengthen the core and all of that. And when I tried it, it was just so much fun. And I feel it releases the stress. It's easy to do, anyone can do it. And I especially recommended it during that time for a lot of moms. And it, it just, it, especially after natural birth, this is the great, healer to being able to jump again. Well, we're and going to find out if anyone can do it, because I believe that uh, I'm going to be doing it in just a little bit. And uh, there's a chance that Lane's going to be doing it as well. So Wonderful. Well, this is no. news to you, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to sit here and cheer you. brought your gym class, right? Fun. With that, I'm just You're like this. <laughs> yep. Jack it off, it'll be good. It's gonna be right, really we're going to be doing that in just a second. But Jafar, before we say goodbye to you, mm -hmm. we need to know a little bit more about you. So it's time for DXB in 60. Are you ready, Jafar? I hope so. So you need to answer as many questions as possible within 60 seconds. Are you ready for DXB in 60? I am. Let's right. go. Your time starts now. Three, two, one. Let's go. If not an athlete, which industry would you be working in? <clears throat> Marketing. One thing you cannot live without? Water. Your, mo okay. your motto in life and work? Gratitude in motion. Your hidden gem in Dubai? Have to say any beach. Your inspiration or muse? Kobe. A book you're reading at the moment? Uh, I'm reading a bunch, actually. I can't <laughs> pick one. Top series you've watched this summer? Uh, Peaky Blinders. Oh, nice one. Top podcast recommendation? Um, I actually haven't been listened to, but I think... Uh, any of the mental health advocates. I, uh, Why Dubai? Why not? Mm, good one. And that, I believe, is your time. Well done, you. You tried. <laughs> I, don't know, I couldn't think of a book. <laughs> That's fine. I'm literally reading about three of them, oh, so I'm like, uh, This has been a lot of fun. It has Thank been. You Thank you so Thank much you. for coming, man. Thank you for having me. This I'm is the first great. time we, we, we've connected. You, yes. Because you've come on the show before, right? Yes, yeah. once before. So, third time's a charm, you're going to come back? I hope so. If you guys will have me, I'm pretty excited <laughs> to be you, here man. again. And thank Jennifer, you thank, thank you so, so much, much for being on the sofa. Thank but you. I believe we're going to be doing something yes. as well. Oh, I'm going to go change and get right. ready. Okay. Let's jump. Wonderful. So after the break, Jennifer joins us with her trampolines to get our 30 by 30 done the right way, as we have the closing ceremonies of the Dubai Fitness Challenge right here in our studios. And I might actually do it. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>